Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my review of the Halo 3 Master Chief Supreme Edition certified by Microsoft. So, let me start off by, um, start off with the helmet. So, here we go. Uh, first thing with the helmet, uh, I don't know if you've seen it for all you enthusiasts, uh, there's a two-dimensional helmet. It looks really cheesy, but the one thing that that cheesy helmet has that this one doesn't have that should is if you notice here the the tinting they did a really shitty job I believe the other one if you could see you could see that at like your hot topics and your local costume shops they have a darker tint here as far as this one you could clearly see my fingers like you saw my eyes in the beginning of the video and personally I just think that looks really really tacky and corny just kind of kills the illusion a bit um, another thing, it has, you know, it has LED lights. I didn't even bother turning it on. I'm returning this, uh, so hopefully it works. But if you see right here itself, the, the little turn on and off, it looks really, uh, really poor. Like, made in, not even China, something poorer quality than that. Uh, not to say that Chinese make poor quality things. They, you know, I'm pretty sure I own 90%. <coughs> Anyways, um... Next thing with the helmet is the size. I mean, I think I have a normal size head, and I think you need a uh, extra large dome for this helmet to stay in place. There's nothing that really secures it. I think maybe if if you could inflate the cushion so it molds to your skull or something. <clears throat> but as you can see, uh, you would have to adjust this helmet probably a. Uh, every minute because it's just it's just really uh, wobbly just so yeah it just it just tilts and falls all over the place um, so that's the helmet uh, the, the poorest thing about this I think is is one the main thing is the quality I mean I I looked high and low I looked on Craigslist I looked on eBay and Amazon Amazon had the cheapest one and I bought it for 640. And for 640, I don't know, I expected quality maybe. Uh the amount of, of pieces that are here, you, you can't even really party or, or be comfortable in this suit because you would you would be too occupied making sure you don't lose one of the like the gazillion pieces that comes with this. Uh for example, this is a little side clip that goes on your belt. For one, just the overall material of the plastic is so cheap and it feels so brittle. The best thing I can I have that compares to what this feels like when you wear it, about uh, the amount of, of pressure it could take, is almost like your standard hanger. It feels like when you sit on it or you lay your back on it or anything that applies pressure or weight onto the any part of the costume, it feels like it would just snap just like that uh, it really feels that poor and I mean honestly if you had a green shirt green pants and a green motorcycle helmet you'd probably make a better halo costume than um, this $600 worth of plastic that I have and honestly it feels like it's maybe $200 worth of material and I understand you gotta make profit and whatnot but I think for what you pay and what I received was extremely shitty. Uh, another thing is the craftsmanship of it. If you can see here, this plastic itself is brittle already. It feels like it's really, it's really bendable, and it's like gonna snap. I don't want to bend it too much because I'm trying. I'm returning this. Uh, but if you see there, you could even see like the glue mark right there. And this blue plastic is extremely, uh, what's the word? Um, shitty. Yeah, shitty. So we'll go on to my next complaint, which is the boot guard or the boot cover. Um, let's see how this jump go. So it would be like this. This would be the front, and this is, you know, made so if your foot flexes. And your foot basically goes right here, and this would cover your boot. And this strap, let me put it on right, this strap will go onto the back of your boot or your shoe 
and this would go over and that would be your boot cover there so you can flex your foot which is pretty cool there you know um thing is it doesn't really stay in place and two if you look at this thing here it's right on the balls of your foot and not so much the position other than the position actually it's the material used here which is basically uh it feels like underwear the the elastic on your underwear so that's exactly what it feels like so to have this poor material right on the balls of your feet walking around on cement dirt uh what what have you this thing would rip within hours so i think that's another poorly made thing um here is the chest and back piece so here's a chest, here's the back piece, and it looks, you know, I mean, I'm not going to knock them on the graphics and the paint job and, and, and I guess, uh, some detailing, you know, some detailing, but, you know, you, you put it on, and as soon as I put it on, I mean, as soon as I took it out the box, honestly, my dreams were shattered, I was, uh, hoping to be, uh, you know, best dressed for Halloween and maybe win me, a. Uh, uh, a costume uh, contest we need some money back but it just feels really really poor and it's really just bendable like it's it's gonna break and I mean you can't really you can't really sit on it when you have the groin protector part and, and the lower back piece and um, the only thing that really secures this whole thing is, is, is this velcro like I said you can hear it it's all over the place it's velcro and elastic underwear uh, next item up I would say is um, the gauntlet part here you know your forearm guard here and this goes right in there and again it's it's just uh, it's velcro and complaint here is if you can see there the when I just took it off the velcro glue just came right off so just poorly made um, right here this is where your wrist will go through and this thing moves all over the place it doesn't really stay in place and right here I don't know how well you can see it but it's really uncomfortable against the wrist of your skin uh, the glove itself uh, no real complaints maybe uh, I don't know that that part looks a little corny to me but it's it's okay it's whatever I mean you can't really mess up a glove right glove and attach a little piece of green plastic to it um another one is uh, the shoulder bicep guard which you uh, see here shoulder and the bicep guards all one unit here again it has velcro here on the cat suit or your little uh, your little pleather jumpsuit it has a piece of velcro where it would secure here and then this is the bicep guard which would go here again uh, this thing was it already came broken and again it was that really cheap blue plastic here you have to obviously stretch this pull this to secure it onto um these little metal loops here uh but again this thing extremely shitty and just broke immediately uh next one up i guess is is this is the thigh guard here that you look at it here and and you know it it looks it looks decent like you know it's not really going nowhere I guess it gives it that 3d illusion part um the thing about it is is just velcro on the bottom and you have one piece of velcro that uh, attaches to the inside the jumpsuit has a piece of velcro that is right here on the groin area which secures this one little piece here so you you put it on and goes like that and this piece of velcro would secure here so it gives that little 3d illusion again honestly I mean other than than the quality and everything I think honestly if you have a bigger frame it it'll suit you better uh, looking at the pictures and, and this guy this guy's obviously looks like he's uh, well, on the little how to do it manual the guy looks like he's at least like a six footer and even if you're not a six footer you gotta be at least uh, pretty stocky have some mass to you I'm very athletic build I'm 5'9 and I weigh 165 <clears throat> um, so I mean 
you'd probably have to be like in the 200s or you know like running back type shape to to have this fit kind of like snugly around um, but again it's just like really wobbly and when you walk it's just it feels like it's just moving all over the place um, the shin guard actually or yeah the shin guard I would say is probably the most secure sturdiest piece of the whole uh, costume that doesn't really move at all and again it's just you guessed it velcro and uh, you know it, it it has some uh, cushioning there so I like that it really keeps your foot or your shin right there it keeps it in place and it doesn't it doesn't move around as much so out of the whole costume I would say that's the best piece um overall if I was to rate this costume uh, 10 being actual Master Chief in the Halo video game and one being uh, a guy wearing a green shirt, green uh, green pants, and a green motorcycle helmet. I would probably rate this a solid three, maybe 4.5, uh, and that's being really generous. Um, I, I looked at some other YouTube videos, and you know they're extremely like good looking, but you could tell that those costumes are on the thousand and up dollar range. Um, so I would say you get what you pay for, but I mean. Unless you have like six hundred dollars in your wallet every day, I I, I think you know just expect a better quality. So uh, honestly, I I everything here again is my opinion. Um, now I know. I wish I would have seen a video, and I would have made my decision off there. But obviously, somebody has to purchase it and make one of these videos. I never thought I would actually make one of these videos, but receiving this I just I felt like I had to so maybe I could save somebody the time and uh, time and money from ordering one of these things and having to return it returning it wasn't an easy process because they don't accept uh, open costumes and whatnot but uh, in life sometimes if you bitch enough and you bitch the right way you get your way so um, that's it if you have uh, any questions any concerns, any comments, go ahead and post them up. Uh, I'll answer any questions. Everything here is still uh, fresh, about to get repacked because I'm sending it right after this video. So, um, yeah, just post any comments or whatever and let me know. Um, so now you know. Good luck.